Local and state officials gathered this week on top of the new railroad overpass on Hanson Boulevard to mark the completion of the project, which has been years in the making. CTN Steve Antis joins us now from Hanson Boulevard with more on the celebration. Steve? Steve, it took two construction seasons to complete all of the work on what can be described as three bridges in one. It includes a tunnel you can see behind me for 108th Lane and a pedestrian tunnel to the south of the railroad tracks. The ribbon cutting was the proverbial cherry on top of this $25 million project. It is the goal of first responders to get to the scene of the emergency as quickly and safely as possible. This location has long been a challenge in our community to get to those calls quickly. For years, Fire Chief John Piper has been the man behind the Herculean task of getting a railroad overpass built in Coon Rapids. So it was appropriate for him to serve as the master of ceremonies. Senator Newton. Many who made this bridge possible gathered to mark its completion. We're standing here today on this bridge because of a strong partnership between several stakeholders who recognize the need for a grade separated overpass. The 2017 Minnesota Legislature passed the bonding bill signed by Governor Dayton, which committed the state to paying half the cost of the project. Trains would block the crossing from six to eight minutes, um, sometimes as much as 25 minutes. And as somebody who drove through here a lot for door knocking and uh, coffee with constituents at Caribou, uh, I noticed. A passing train showed up to share the moment. Timely. The Burlington Northern Santa Fe put in money for the bridge, and since the North Star commuter rail runs through here, the county's Transit Improvement Board put up a large share. We were allowed $4.2 million from them. Uh, the city coughed up $1.1 million, the county's in for $1.4 million. This is a big thing. While still under construction, the new bridge got credit for helping speed up the emergency response for Mayor Jerry Cook's mother. But on June 16th, when my mom collapsed outside in her yard having suffered a major stroke and with our top rated Mercy Hospital and our EMTs and two of our three fire stations on the opposite side of the railroad tracks, the fact that no one responding was delayed by a train was huge. Three, two, one, cut the ribbon and the hose. Come on, firefighters are supposed to be first. <laughs> And as the public safety vehicles paraded over the bridge, Chief Piper summed up the journey it took to get here. The goal of allowing public safety to respond to emergencies without being obstructed uh, at the railroad crossing is huge. Besides the improved public safety response times, this bridge eliminates vehicle traffic backups caused by trains. And it allows the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway to use the tracks as a staging area where trains can wait for clearance to enter the Northtown Rail Yard. Steve? All right, Steve, a lot of people happy that that project is complete. Thank you very much.